Welcome to Everyday Linux User and welcome to a month on Q4 OS. Now, as you know, I have a series where I review all of the Linux distributions one month at a time. And this month it was the turn of Q4 OS. Now, this video is going to be in two parts. Uh, the first part is Q4 OS Trinity, which is the lightweight version of Q4 OS. And I used that for about a week and a half at the beginning of the month. And you can see I've customized the desktop and I've made it look slightly different to what, how it was before. And we'll go into that in a bit more detail, but not too much. Now, the problem I found with Trinity is it is beginning to look a bit tired. It still has the, the old Windows XP, Windows Vista style theme to it. It's not very modern looking and there are problems. For instance, if I run Kade Live, you can see all the icons are missing. And the only way I could find around that was to install the app image, which I've done up here. Uh, hardware, uh, it's, it runs okay. Uh, the You can connect to your wireless okay. Bluetooth, I had to install manually. Now, uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to do it from the command line. I also showed you in another video how to do it graphically from the application install tool. So yeah, uh, setting up the hardware not too bad and printing worked just fine. So from setting up point of view, it wasn't too bad except Bluetooth wasn't available by default. My main issue with the Q4 OS Trinity is, as I said before, it's looking a bit old, a little bit dated. And personally, I think Q4 OS could in a future go in a different direction with this. It's time probably, I think, to drop the Trinity desktop. I don't think it's it's required anymore. I think you could go down the LXQt route um, if you want a lightweight desktop version of Q4 OS and you can customize it and give all the same theming that you do to the Trinity one. I think Trinity's got to a point where it's probably hit the end of its life. But that's not to say it doesn't work. You can use Q4 OS Trinity and it's lightweight. It doesn't take much memory at all. It's currently using 876 meg, but remember I'm recording a video, so that's going to boost it by a few hundred megabytes. So it's, it's, it's lightweight and it will work on lots of older hardware. Generally speaking, the rest of the applications I used all worked okay. And you still have the Q4 OS look switcher. And so you can switch between different versions. I'm coming on the default, but you can use Wine Classic. You can use Debon Darkenair, Debonair, and you can also show all themes. And you can switch between lots of different ones here. So you can go for a more Windows XP Windows NT type of look and feel to it. You can even go for a Commodore 64 style look if you want to. But yeah, so that's the Trinity side of things. We'll now move over and we'll look at the Q4 OS KDE version. Right, so this is Q4 OS KDE and is an absolute delight to use. It is very, very good indeed. Now, KDE is currently my favorite desktop environment um, for mainstream computers. Uh, for lightweight, I like LXQt, but between the two of them, they're definitely my two favorite desktop environments. And Q4 OS has produced a really good implementation on it. It's basically Debian, um, but it's got um, some Q4 OS theming, some tools on top, and they've done a really good job of making it work for the everyday Linux user. So your hardware is just going to work. You can connect to your Wi-Fi. You've got Bluetooth. That works perfectly well. Printing. And all this sets itself up without any hassle whatsoever. Now the applications mainly I installed, but uh, if we go to the welcome screen, you can do things like install proprietary codecs or you can install applications. And you've got this thing called the desktop profiler. So if I click that, when you first install Q4 OS, it gives you the option, you can go fully featured, which gives you a decent set of apps to start with. You can go for a basic Q4 OS desktop, which gives you common utilities. And then you've got ultimate minimal. So I went for the fully featured and I've added my own applications in since. But 
um, even after install you can then switch it and you can see you can switch your desktop environment as well if you want to so uh, this is largely the KDE has been created in such a way that it works with Q4S and Trinity does I don't know about the others whether they're just stock images of those desktop environments but yes you've got this desktop profiler that you can still run after the install so if you change your mind you can do that um, install and applications q4 os has its own package manager but you also have the discover package manager which we'll come to in a minute and you can just install from common apps here so um, if you want chrome you can have chrome or brave uh, i installed this thing called the look switcher and we'll come to that shortly if you want multimedia codecs you can install them here you've got all sorts of applications that you can install via this app if you want to use discover because it's part of kde you can do that as well if we go to settings flat hubs available which means you can install things like spotify which i've done down there you can install steam so it's really easy to get the applications you want installed onto your computer if we look at the look switcher you've got these breeze breeze dark breeze twilight you've got a couple of other ones here and then down here you've got different ones so you've got a windows 10 operating system look so if you got used to windows 10 and you want to keep that sort of like look and feel but obviously windows 10 isn't supported then you can do that if you want a windows 11 look and feel because your machine isn't available for windows 11 but you still want to make it look like that then you can do that now if you choose the desktop or window layout you will lose all your quick launch icons and you have to reinstall them again afterwards the applications are still there but your desktop icons may not be and there you can see it now looks like windows 11 and it's not like uh android os that sticks perfectly to the windows 11 theme in so it's not obvious that it's windows 11 but it's it's a look and feel of windows 11. to show you what i mean about the icons if i want to switch back to the one i had before so if i go breeze dark you can see i've lost my desktop wallpaper and my quick launch icons have gone but it's easy enough to change those back to put icons back onto your panel all you've got to do is go up here and then drag them down into place like that now i can honestly say when it comes to q4 os i have had no problems with the kde version at all during the month is absolutely a joy to use and thoroughly recommended for the everyday linux user so between this or kde neon or kubuntu i can highly recommend these for the everyday linux user and that is the end of the video if you like it give a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i will see you next time on everyday linux user